Hey folks, what's up? Welcome in my video tutorial series about Chaos Destruction System in Unreal Engine. In this episode we are going to install Unreal Engine with Chaos enabled. So you don't have to compile everything from scratch. I'll make also um, another episode with a tutorial how to compile everything, but there is already a few tutorials online, so I think it's not so necessary. So when you open up your uh, Epic Games Launcher, you want to select the 4.26 Chaos version and download it. Whatever you wish, use your location. Yeah, fine. And now stand up and make yourself a cup of tea or yerba or whatever because it's gonna take a few minutes. <laughs> I will pause the video. Alright, so when the downloading is finished, let's launch it and see if that actually works. We got to create new project, so let's choose game blank and uh, no starter content and pick some folder for the project and let's create it. We will see if uh, chaos works and yeah uh, let's drag cube to the scene oh, there should be mode fracture this indicates that chaos is enabled uh, but we can also check in the plugins uh, yeah, cloth Niagara Niagara solver editor yeah uh, it's fine so Uh, yeah, we have our cube right there. Let's click this button new to create new geometry collection. I will explain it later uh, Let's fracture it a little bit uniform Yeah um, 20 why not All right Let's see if that works. Yeah, perfectly fine. <laughs> okay, there is one more thing we can do to make it uh, just look normal. Uh, change it to level set. Save. Uh, I double click this. Yeah. And now it's correct. Okay, so we have Unreal Engine 4.26 with Chaos it works there is one more thing when it comes to chaos if you open up your launcher uh, you can go to learn top and look for chaos destruction demo it's a really nice sample project well, click this one and you you can learn a lot about chaos itself and you can also use the um, blueprints for your own projects Make sure there is 4.26, click create, alright, done, almost done. So uh, when it comes to Unreal Engine with Chaos enabled, when you don't, don't compile it, uh, you got to open up this link here, this guide. Close this and we have to change a couple of things to make it work with this engine version. Go to source, open this file and we need to copy the contents of it. And then open up the second file, replace the content, save them. And right now we are ready to rock. Right click the project, switch Unreal Engine version to 4.26 Chaos. Or if you don't, uh, or if you have just one version, you can click also generate Visual Studio project files. And when it's done, double click it. It, it will ask you to rebuild, click yes. 
Well, what's really important is to choose the correct version of the engine in Launcher, because if you choose uh, the wrong one, it uh, it might seem to work, but some of the things are not working. So just make sure it's correct. All right, and we have here a few maps. I encourage you to test all of them. Let's check out the first one. Yeah, great. Perfectly. So everything works perfectly. Very well. Yeah, finally you don't have to compile the whole engine to make use of chaos. That's so nice. If you liked the video, like it, post a comment, subscribe and uh, stay tuned for next videos. Bye.